Hello, and welcome to the Truth Daily Devo, where we strengthen and encourage believers through a consistent and faithful engagement with Scripture. I'm Damian Dunlap, the lead pastor at Truth Fellowship Community Church in Panama City Beach, Florida, and I want to thank you for joining us today. Why are your friends your friends? Are there people in your life that you call a friend or even consider a friend, yet when time gets tough, they are nowhere to be found? Today's passage challenges us to consider who our real friends are and why the people around us want to spend time with them. We're going to be reading from Proverbs chapter 19, verses 4 through 8 in the New Living Translation. Wealth makes many friends. Poverty drives them all away. A false witness will not go unpunished, nor will a liar escape. Many seek favors from a ruler. Everyone is the friend of a person who gives gifts. The relatives of the poor despise them. How much more would their friends avoid them? Though the poor plead with them, their friends are gone. Verse 8. To acquire wisdom is to love yourself. People who cherish understanding will prosper. Okay, so the first thing that stood out to me in this passage was in verse 4, right? It reads, wealth makes many friends, poverty drives them all away. Now, unless you are reading this, you probably missed the fact that friends here is in quotes. Now, it's funny because I didn't really notice this in any of the other translations that I checked, but I do find it interesting because it fits in how I would refer to these types of friends, right? If I was in a conversation, these are like those air quote friends, right? They're not true friends, but people that just show up and act like friends when it benefits them. The same way these so-called friends or quote friends are attracted to people with wealth is the same way that they're repelled or even repulsed when those same people find themselves in poverty. The sad truth is that there will always be people in our lives because of what they can get, not for what they can give, right? It's like this in verse six says, everyone who wants favors from someone in power and everyone wants to be friends with people that give good gifts, right? Oftentimes our most genuine friendships are formed when we had nothing, right? When we had nothing to offer except for companionship and a caring heart. If we aren't careful, we can do the same thing with family, right? Pushing them aside when we feel like they have nothing to offer or to contribute. This passage highlights some real but tough truths, but I love how verse eight shifts the focus from what others choose to do and what we ourselves can control. We can't control who loves us, but we can control how we love ourselves. One of the ways that we can love ourselves well is to continually strive to learn and grow in wisdom and in understanding. We can learn to truly love ourselves enough to genuinely care for others and to listen and to seek to understand their challenges, their struggles, their pain, and then we can grow these authentic friendships. Not these fake friends looking to get something but true, genuine friends who simply enjoy our fellowship. That's a beautiful thing. And it all starts with learning to love ourselves. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for today. We bless you and we appreciate you, Father, for this reminder uh, to challenge us about who our friends truly are, God. Thank you for the people that you've placed in our lives, those genuine, authentic friendships. Lord, help us to honor those friendships by making more time in life to enjoy with them, God. Lord, help us to learn to set aside those people who call themselves friends, but are only really there to get what benefits them, God. But that help us to grow in these genuine, authentic friendships and help us to Embrace your challenge to learn to love ourselves through our growth and wisdom and in understanding. And we just bless you and we appreciate you, Father, for your faithfulness and your goodness. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Thanks again so much for joining us. And we look forward to continuing this journey through scripture each weekday. Have an awesome day and God bless you.